Guilds of Ravnica's just come out and with it comes two brand new Planeswalker decks. So in today's video I'm going to be cracking open one of them, Vraska, Regal Gorgon. Going to be seeing what's inside. We've gone back up to two booster packs in a box and then going to be upgrading it into a Brawl deck with Vraska in command. Ahoy everyone, thanks for tuning in. So I'm Tim here at Digital Llama and like the intro said, this is gonna be a Vraska Regal Gorgon Planeswalker deck unboxing and then upgrading it into a Brawl deck. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be great fun. Before we get started, please check out the channel's sponsor, Arcane Cards. They stock MTG singles and plenty of sealed products. You can find the link to the shop down in the description as well as a code to get 10% off your first order. With that said, let's crack this open and get going. So in the Planeswalker box, as always, you get the handy little cardboard box with the artwork and name on the side of it. You get a before to play guide to read through. You get the actual deck and the lovely shiny planeswalker and we get two packs to crack. So what we'll do is we'll hit these first to see what treats are in store. So yeah, Shocklands would be nice, Assassin's Trophy would be awesome, especially fitting for this. Um, so yeah, let's go through. So quickly flick through the commons. So first on common is Creeping Chill, then we've got a Sunhome Stalwart, and finally a Beacon Bolt, and then the rare is a Guild Mages Forum. Yeah, so quite interesting, not particularly stellar, but oh well. We've got a Guild Gate, and we've got a Foil Uncommon as well, Thoughtbound Phantasm. That looks lush, really nice, cool. And a Soldier Token at the end, so that's pack one. Carry on straight on to pack number two. Uh, so fast rolling the, get those packs out of the way, commons again. So first uncommon is a cir circuitous route. Really nice artwork on that, love of maze. Justice Strike, and then Lava Coil, and then the rare for the pack is a Mausoleum Secrets. Okay, so it's an undergrowth card, Golgari. Uh, search your library for a black card with CMC less than or equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. You get to reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library for two mana. Got an Is It Gilgate this time, and a Goblin. No foils in that one, so that's pretty cool. So what we'll do now is we'll take a closer look at the actual Planeswalker deck. Starting out looking at the Planeswalker deck exclusive cards, we get one Mythic, the Planeswalker herself, Vraska. We get two rares, we get three uncommons and four commons. So Vraska Regal Gorgon is a seven mana Planeswalker, five black and a green for five loyalty. We get to plus two, put a plus one plus one counter on up to one target creature. That creature gains menace until end of turn, so that's a pretty cool keyword to get. Minus three, destroy target creature, and then minus ten for each creature card in your graveyard, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. So that's a really powerful ultimate and ties in really nice with the undergrowth mechanic that we've got going on in Guilds of Ravnica for Golgari. Looks absolutely stunning in foil as well. So Vraska's Stone Glare is a six mana sorcery. Destroy target creature, you gain life equal to its toughness. You can search library for Vraska Regal Gorgon, reveal it and put it into your hand. Then Attendant of Vraska we've got is a Zombie Soldier, one and a Golgari for 3-3. Three, three. When it dies, if you control a Vraska Planeswalker, could be any of them, you gain life equal to the Attendant's power. And then finally we've got the common of the bunch, Krowl Raider. So two and a black for two three with Menace. So nothing too exciting there, but it does fill out the deck. 
Next up, we'll have a look at what's in the rest of the deck. So this is what the deck looks like when it's laid out in casting cost order. We also get a nice load of basic lands and we get four Golgari guild gates, just in case we didn't quite get enough opening up booster packs. So you can see the curve's actually all right. Uh, it does go up pretty high with two seven drops and we got three six drops here as well to uh, sorceries from the planeswalker deck and a rare bounty of might which is really cool so yeah we've got in the one drop slot two prey ponds and we've got three dead weights in the two drop slot we've got a bit of a mixed bag we've got a couple of glow spore shamans and a swarm guild mage and then we've got three iron shell beetles so you get to put a plus one plus one counter on target creature for that in the three drops we've got a lot of our planeswalker deck cards and then we also get the three of spinal centipede four drops quite a hotly contested little slot we've got a rare with beast whisperer we've got a rhizome lurcher two of uh, there's two bartizan bats which is just a three one flyer for four and then we got a wild ceratoc as well four three vanilla for four in the five drop slot then We've got Cruel Foragers, which is a 4-4 with Undergrowth. And then we just got a 5-4 Vanilla for 5. So there's some quite easy cuts there to make, in my opinion. Haven't really thought this through, but what you're probably going to want to do is remove some of the Vanilla creatures. Uh, maybe get rid of some of the top end as well. Start doubling up on some of your like Glow sp Spore Shamans, things like that. Um, just for super, super budget upgrades. But where the main upgrades are going to come now is in the Brawl Deck tech that I've brewed up. So we'll flick over to that and yeah, see what I've come up with. So Veraska Regal Gorgon costs 7 mana. So we're definitely not going to be getting her out early to mid game. But when we do, we can start placing plus one, plus one counters around and destroying creatures. What it does do is put us into Golgari colours for our Brawl deck, and I've included Attendant of Vraska and Vraska's Stone Glare from the Planeswalker deck, but left out the common. And because we're building a Golgari Vraska deck, why not include the set version, Vraska Golgari Queen? She's four mana for a four loyalty Planeswalker, has an optional plus two ability which helps with undergrowth triggers and her ultimate at minus nine is just crazy. You only need to connect with a creature once to knock that player out of the game. So I started by looking at the new Golgari cards from Guilds of Ravnica and Azoni, Thousand Eyed, came up first. When she enters play we get a token insect for each creature in our graveyard and can sack creatures to gain life and draw a card. Golgari Findkeeper is a 3-4 who can bounce another creature from our graveyard to our hand. Glowspore Shaman mills ourselves for 3 cards, then can stack our library with a land. If you can use a Field of Ruin multiple times, that could be awesome. Underrealm Lich it also helps to load our graveyard for undergrowth triggers. So all of these creatures are great Golgari cards, but they have something else in common. They're all elves. So that's when I decided this would be an elf tribal deck. Swarm Guild Mage has a couple of great abilities. Giving all our creatures menace and a power boost is really powerful. Okran Assassin works well with Golgari Queen's ultimate ability. Poison Tip Archer works really well with sack outlets just like Izoni. And Marwyn the Nurturer brings us to the monocolored elves. She gets bigger with each elf we cast and could potentially give us huge ramp. Beast Whisperer is a new card from Guilds of Ravnica and keeps our hand topped up. Golgari Raiders is great value if we have enough creatures in the graveyard. Elvish Clan Caller is a Lord from M19. Her ability is defunct in Brawl but the Anthem effect for double green is nice. Thorn Lieutenant, another card from Corset, gives us elf tokens if it gets targeted and has some inbuilt protection from burn. Now to some cards with awesome promo versions available. Lanor Elves and Elvish Rejuvenator provide more ramp. Still Leaf Champion is a powerhouse. And finally Reclamation Sage is great removal for artifacts or enchantments. With it being a tribal deck, I've included Vanquisher's Banner for another Anthem effect and more draw. 
Shape of Sanctuary gives us even more draw, but could be subbed out for Crucible of Worlds as we are putting a fair few cards in our graveyard. Journey to Eternity gives a creature pseudo regenerate and comes back itself flipped into Atzal, Cave of Eternity, which really helps with graveyard recursion. Assassin's Trophy, current standout card from Guilds of Ravnica makes an appearance, it's just too powerful not to. Find slash finality gives more recursion and a sort of board wipe if needed. Status slash statue is pump spell and removal in one. So recursion seems really important to include in here and Vivid Remi Revival is great at it, pulling any three multicolored permanents back to our hand. Boneyard Parley can not only recur our own cards but we can potentially steal them from our opponents too. Soul Salvage does what it says on the tin, and the Mending of Dominaria mills, then recurs, then gets our Deadlands back into our library, helping us not to deck ourselves. I really rate Price of Fame as removal in Brawl. Targeting a commander means it'll only cost two, and Surveil works a treat with Undergrowth. Cast Down takes care of a non-legendary creature, and Broken Bond does the same as Rexage, but with added ramp if we have a spare land in our hand. On to the rest of the deck, we've got Adventurous Impulse for ramp slash tutoring, Gaia's Blessing for anti-milling, although it will spoil undergrowth if it happens at the wrong time, Golgari Locket for even more ramp, and finally Desecrated Tomb, because all the recursion, we could end up with quite the flock of bats. On to the mana base, and Golgari currently has four dual lands, Overgrown Tomb, Woodland Cemetery, Foul Orchard, and Golgari Guildgate. Following that up with some utility, we have Evolving Wilds, Arch of Arazka, Field of Ruin, and Memorial to Folly. Finishing off the deck with basics, there's 7 swamps and 8 forests. You can find this deck list over on my blog, the link is down in the description. And there you have it, my Vraska Regal Gorgon, Planeswalker deck unboxing and Brawl deck tech upgrades. If you haven't already, please remember to share this video wherever you hang out, be it Twitter, Reddit, Facebook and don't forget to head over to Arcane Cards for your NTG singles. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers!